What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I have a video today that I've been wanting to make for a little bit. It is five things you should know before getting a tarantula. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Number five, people are not going to get it. Spiders are painted as these nightmare creatures and tarantulas are like the epitome of horror to some people. So it's going to be expected that a lot of people are going to ask you really weird questions. Is it poisonous? What if there's an earthquake? What if it escapes? Can it bite you? These are questions you will get a lot and you're just gonna have to learn to deal with it. Number four, are you comfortable with the feeders? Do you know what tarantulas eat? Because if you have more than a couple tarantulas, chances are you're going to need to house some feeder insects. You have to be prepared to take care of them as well. Worms, crickets, roaches, these are the things that tarantulas love. And you have to remember, the healthier you keep your feeder insects, the healthier the meal will be for whatever is eating them. Number three, you can go a very long time without ever seeing your tarantula. Sometimes tarantulas can be referred to as pet holes because they'll spend like 90% of their time hiding in their burrow, and that's totally normal. If you wanna catch your tarantula out, usually the best time to look is really late at night because they are nocturnal and that is when they're more likely to be out. You can also see legs peeking out of the burrow a lot and that usually means feed me. And that leads me to number two less is more this is a pet where less is more less feedings than what you would expect a pet to need they only eat once maybe twice a month or every couple weeks less cleaning you're not going to be changing out the substrate unless there is a problem such as an outbreak of mold or parasites something like that less handling they don't want to be held they're really indifferent to it and some of them really downright do not like it So these are really low maintenance pets. And number one, they are addicting. There's so many different species with so many different kind of personalities, so many different colorations, and sometimes you'll wind up with a male and then you'll say, oh, I need the species, but in a female. It's very addicting. You can end up with a lot of tarantulas. I know people who have hundreds of tarantulas. I myself would prefer to keep my collection a bit smaller than that, but I can see how it happens. So you hear, people refer to tarantula keeping as a collection or a hobby and some people get the idea that we don't treat them as living beings and that is not the case. When we say a collection or a hobby, it is a hobby. It's a different kind of pet than a dog or a cat. Yes, they're living, but no, we're not treating them as inanimate objects or just a collection. I know it can sound really wrong, but that's what it's referred to because you are collecting many different kind of species of tarantulas and it becomes a hobby. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you are just getting into the hobby or researching it a little bit that I answered some questions or helped you know what to expect. If you've been keeping for a while and you have other tips for new keepers, please comment them down below. I love to have my channel really open to people that are not as familiar with tarantulas as some of us or interested in getting into the hobby and just trying to learn a little bit more about it. So please leave your advice down below if I missed anything and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.